Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Action Screen Recorder. This is a program that lets you record your Windows desktop and lets you record your video games. It also has a lot of other cool features to offer. If you click on the link in the description below, you'll end up on their website that looks like this. And there's a massive list below that tells you all the features that they offer. Also, to download the program, you just simply need to click this download button here. I'm not going to show you how to install it as it only takes about three clicks. As soon as you download that file, run it, and it's literally three buttons next, 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 and it's installed on your computer. As you can see in the title, I have got two codes to give away on Action Screen Recorder which they were very nice to give me two codes to do a giveaway. To stand a chance of winning one of these codes, all you have to do is comment below the reason why you'd like the code and hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Computer Sluggish Tutorials. Right, now it's time to take a look at the program. As you can see here, this is the interface for Action Screen Recorder. It's very nice and straightforward, nothing's too complicated. As you can see on the left hand side I've got a record in there already, which we'll take a look at in a bit. On the right hand side here we've got our settings. As you can see up the top here on this little row, you've got your recording mode. So you've got your games and applications, you've got the active screen, or you've got the active desktop region. So as you can see here, I can choose which part of my desktop I'd like to record just by dragging each corner on this green box, which is really, really good. And you can just move it around like that. That's a really cool feature, and I definitely do like that. If I just hit the close now, it takes us back. And then if you've got a webcam plugged in or another HDMI capture device, you can just click on this button here. As you can see, I've got no input devices to select at the moment, so I can't actually show you that. But if we go back over to the games and applications and take a look at what other settings we have. We've got our file format, which you can choose either MP4 or AVI. You've got your hardware acceleration as long as your graphics card supports it and as you can see mine does I've got my Nvidia hardware acceleration turned on there as you can see here you've got your video size at the minute I've got original selected but you can go for 1080p 720p and all the way down to 240p which is really good lots of options there also we got our video frame rate as you can see, I've got mine on 60 frames per second, but if you've got a mega powerful computer, you can stack it right up to a staggering 120 frames per second, which is awesome. That, you know, that is really, really great. Not a lot of recording programs offer that. We've got our time, so if you only want your recording to be like, an hour long you can obviously select that and you can just choose how long you want the recording to be but obviously I prefer to just press F9 and start my recording then press F9 when I've finished that's that's a lot more straightforward also if you've got a microphone you can tick that and you can have it so it's always recording or you can have it record only on a button down which is a nice feature we got a webcam there as well if you want your webcam to be recorded whilst you're recording your game. And we got time shift. If you don't know what time shift is, basically this option if you select it, it lets you record the last um, one minute or five minutes or ten minutes of your gameplay. As soon as you hit the actual button for the time shift, it'll record the last five minutes. A bit like what Shadow Play does. Right, up the top here we've got live. And yes, you guessed it correctly, that is for live streaming. You can select enable and obviously enable live streaming. If 
that's what you like doing. And we got a few options here. We can stream at 1080p if we want or 720p. We can also change the frames per second. Unfortunately, there's not 120 frames per second option there, but you can still do 60. And if we just tweak around, as you can see here, it tells you your bit rate. And if we click on this button here, you can choose from a nice list of options. You've got Twitch, you've got Facebook, you've got YouTube, Ustream, quite a few options there that you can stream to a few services. Here we've got our audio recording. If you want to just record your microphone only, then this is the option for you. And you can have the WAV file output or the MP4. I'm pretty sure sooner or later, they will add MP3 as well, which would be nice. Right, let's go along now to the next option. We got benchmarking. So you can run benchmarks on your video games if you want to. And then we got capture screenshots. Basically that just lets you capture a nice screenshot of your desktop by hitting F12. And you can change the file format for that as well to JPEG or BMP. Right, moving along as well, we've got our general settings for action screen recorder. As you can see here, you can have the program boot up with Windows if you want. And then we've got our video quality. Obviously at the minute it's on normal, but you could change it to ultra if you want. My recording that I did earlier, that I'm going to put on the end of this video, is just on all the standard normal settings. I've not tweaked them at all. I've not played around with them. It is just simply... The default settings so you can definitely increase them and make them a lot better as you can see here you can turn it to ultra if you want right we've got our overlay graphics if you want to put a bit of overlay graphics then you can do that as well your webcam so here you will choose the position of where you'd like your webcam on your video recordings then we got our sound options there, a few more microphone options as well. And this is your hood. So whereabouts on the screen you would like it to be displayed. If you want it in top left, bottom left or bottom right, it's totally up to you. You can also decide here what you want to be displayed in that option, like show free disk space. It actually does, it's not on my screen here, it's on my OBS if I bring it over like that. As you can see here in the top right corner, we got our frames per second and we got how much free space I've got on the hard drive that action screen recorder would record to. Which is a nice feature, you can see if you're going to run out of hard drive space and you need to quickly clean up that space and it does actually pause the recording you can pause it and then resume the recording once you've freed up a bit of space then we've got a few more options there your hardware acceleration and stuff and your keyboard shortcuts which let you do your recording and taking screenshots and so on but yeah that is pretty much action screen recorder it's a really good program i do highly recommend it if you're not sure what screen recorder to get and you're deciding on one or if you can't stand shadow replay then definitely this program's worth a looking at especially where you can download it and try it out but anyway comment below like i said at the start of the video and you could stand a chance at winning this program anyway which is really good i will announce the winner I'll put, I'll put in the description the date for when I will be announcing the winner. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Picked up the
pigeon. Take down first aid! 